Hi, this is Justice with LearnBuildBox.com. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a disappearing background or object. Uh, we're going to make it in After Effects, and then we're going to use it in BuildBox. Uh, basically, this is for that same thing that I showed in the Hidden Item tutorial, where um, the character walked into the house, it played a sound, the outside there of the house disappeared, and we were able to see what's on the inside. Um, very similar to that, uh, I'm just going to teach you how to make one that uh, an object that disappears has transparency that goes from 100% to 0%. That's the basic idea here. Alright, so we're in After Effects. I'm going to grab the item that I made earlier and drag that in here. That went into the project. Uh, you can also double click here and it'll bring up a import file dialog box. Alright, so we're going to take this and bring it down here. Alright, so we have our object. Now this is kind of a small little window. So let's change our composition settings. A lot of times these settings will be available in the very beginning when you open up uh, the file or you open up a new a project. Uh, I usually go for bigger as opposed to smaller because you can always downsize just about everything and that's very easy. Um, composition settings, we're going to tweak this later as well, so we're just going to leave all that alone. Alright, so here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that with Control D and we'll bring that up. I'm going to grab two of them. We're going to make eight. And we're going to drag that over. Let's do it. Oops. Let's do that one more time. And control D. There we go. Alright, so we're not going to tweak any of this. We're just going to leave it basically how it is. Alright, so I'm going to select all of these down here. And we're going to hit T. T is the uh, command to bring up our opacity. We're going to click on opacity. Now, this right here is the keyframe, it's the stopwatch. Um, this has to be active. This is going to put in a brand new keyframe right here at the beginning. If you've never used After Effects before, some of this can get very confusing, but we're going to try really hard to keep this very, very simple. All right, I'm going to go for two second, a two-second animation. Uh, right here you'll see the time, and right here you'll see the time. I'm going to take this over here which is our work area um, and we're going to trim the work area to just this size right here because that's all we really want we don't want a really long animation alright so now that the playhead is right here we're going to take this now everything is still selected and we're going to drop this down to zero perfect alright so if you scroll back you'll notice the opacity goes from 100% to 0%. And that is all we have to do in order to get that to work the way we want. Alright, so we're going to add to render queue. This is in composition. Now up here, these this is where it's probably the trickiest, and I have spent a lot of time trying to figure this out. I'm going to teach you guys how to make a template first. So click Make Template. Uh, we're going to put a name in here. Um, we'll say half resolution 10 frames per second alright that looks good and we're gonna click edit resolution we're gonna drop that to half use this frame rate we're gonna drop this to 10 Let's see. Yeah, obviously you can just tap in the box and, and type it in, but I'm stubborn, so I'm going to do 10 and click OK. Alright, hit OK, and now we have half resolution, 10 frames per second, so next time we tr click on right here, we can choose our preset, which really saves a lot of time when you're doing this on a regular basis. We're going to do the same thing here, make template, okay, uh, this, we're going to say PNG export for build box. Uh, let's 
it's not exactly the way I want, but you guys get the idea. We'll hit edit. You really want to make sure you get this right because this is very important that this is done correctly. PNG sequence you have to have and RGB plus alpha. Without this, you're not going to have the transparency. You're going to have your image on a white or a different colored background, which is definitely not what you want. Crop, um, I, I would love to use this because I know what it's supposed to do, but for some reason I can't get it to work the way I want. So I just leave this all alone. I'm going to click OK. All right, now because I've already done this, I'm going to, I'm going to hit Cancel. I'm going to select the one I made already, PNG File Export. And this basically is, is kind of set up already the way you want. Um, when I do custom one, I just do project and comp name plus file extension. I think that's fine. Um, these you can play with, but I really don't play with any of these different things here. So when we click on this, right here, so it tells us where we're exporting to. I have already exported this out. Um, if you want to name it something different, just type it in over here. You need to leave this underline and these little hashtags because they're going to be the numbers that you see that make these into a sequence like this is disappearing bricks 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, and that's how it goes in order for the animation. All right, so you click save and then you just come over here, hit render, and it'll send everything out uh, the way that you wanted into the file that you selected. All right, so I'm going to show you what that looks like over here. I have this in objects, not characters, so we're going to close this. Objects, disappearing background, and you'll see all of these here are um, increasingly more transparent all the way to 20. Now if we select all of these you notice that the entire entire file size is 768 kilobytes. This is at quarter resolution. Um, this is not a bad file size for an animation, so that works okay. All right, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to um, put that into BuildBox to create the portal. All right, thanks for watching.